Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be reviewing the new Huda Desert Dust palette. Oh my god, I was so excited to get this. So for today's look, I've used pretty much the whole of the top row. So these shades here, the only shade I didn't use was this shade here called Musk. And I also use Saffron and Blazing down here. The Nefertiti here, the gold I used in the corner to highlight. So I have used a lot of the warm tones in this palette already. So first of all, we're gonna prime the skin and using this Radiance Primer, which gives a gorgeous glow to the skin. Now I'm going to be using some Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. I'm using my Sigma 4D brush just to spread the foundation around and make sure it's everywhere that I need it to be. Then I'm going in with a damp beauty blender just to press this into the skin and blend it all out. Now for the main star of the show, the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Oh my god, them colours are so gorgeous. So I'm just using a tapered blending brush and going in with Desert Sand just to make a base on the lid. And then I'm going in with Eden in my crease and blending that upwards for my transition colour. And now I'm going in with Amber, just in the crease. So I'm just blending that out with small circles and a wiper motion in the crease. And then we're going in with Blazing. I'm just dabbing this along the crease as well, a little bit higher than Amber, just to blend in with Eden. And then going back and forth, just blending that outwards. So now I'm going in with Saffron, which is a beautiful, rich red. I'm focusing this on the outer corner of the crease. And just packing that on with small movements. And then blending that outwards. I'm blending that outwards and along the crease and then I'm going back in with saffron and doing the inner corner and then bringing it finely through the crease then blending that outwards slightly to create it's kind of like a spotlight look Then I'm going in with my Sigma pencil brush with Oud, I think that's how you say it. I'm focusing that on the outer corner on top of Saffron and then just blending that along the crease line on the outer edge slightly. Just to give a bit of more smoky look and to add a bit more dimension. Then I'm going with my Spectrum A16 brush with Blood Moon. I've already wet the brush slightly and oh my god, check out that metal foil look. I absolutely love this colour. It's like a rich burnt orange metallic, which is so pretty on the lid. And I think it makes my green eyes really pop. So now let's do the brows. So I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown. And I'm using my Sigma angled brush just to do small strokes actually to actually give me some brows. <laughs> then lightly brush on the inner brow to create that sort of ombre look. So I'm going in with Iconic London Cream Contour Palette and I'm using the the Rose Gold Evo brush set. Kind of put too much highlight on. 
a better well. So I'm just going along all my highlight areas, under eyes, nose, cupid bow, chin and forehead. Then I'm going in with the medium brown along my cheeks, nose, around my forehead, jawline and under my lower lip. And this is how I contour. <laughs> so now I'm just going in with a bigger brush and just blending out the highlight a bit more. I like to do this just so it's evenly spread when I go in with the blending bud. Then just patting that into the skin with my damp beauty blender. I do small like patting and then blending outwards with the pat just so it blends out the cream nicely and doesn't disturb the foundation too much. I do find that under the eye area it does disturb the foundation but once you put powder on over top it seems to be fine. And I've baked and just brushing off the excess powder now. So I'm going to go in my Milani Baked Bronzer and I'm using the Sigma F20 which is super fluffy just to brush this all over the face and over the contour to blend the contour in a bit more. I want a really sun-kissed glow look. Now I'm going to go back in with the Huda palette using Eden to go under the lash line. And now use an amber on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Sorry, I did a really weird angle with this. I was using a mirror, so you can't really see it, but I'm just blending that out. And then going back in with Oud on the outer corner. And then blending that out to match the Oud that was on the corner of the lid. I'm going in with Nefiti on the inner corner just to highlight. This gold is beautiful. I didn't wet my brush to apply this. This is how it is dried, but I love how it looks. And then I've popped on some Ardell Wispies. And now I'm just going in with mascara to blend my lashes with the Ardell Wispies. It looks flawless. So I'm going in with Model Co Eyeliner, just on the lower lash line to add a bit more intensity to the eyes. Then I'm going in with Techniques Prism Highlighter. I love this, this was such a good find at TK Maxx. I absolutely love this and it is so blinding, like a little bit, really does highlight. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I need to get like all of them. <laughs> I'm doing small brushing motions outwards with the stick just so I don't disturb my layers underneath and then gently patting it in to blend it out slightly. And I literally just put this everywhere because you can never have enough glow. But it literally is blinding. Check that out. So now I'm going in with 
even more highlight makeup revolutions peach lights which is one of my faves as you know if you've watched plenty of my videos so i'm just going over the top of the cream just to set it and add even more of a blinding glow i'm just using my spectrum fan brush so i'm going in with mac well lip liner i'm just going to slightly overline my lips it's not really overlining them because it's still my lip, it's where it's white on the border, that's where I line. Then I'm going with my NYX High Voltage Lipstick. I'm going in with my Kylie gloss over the top just to add some shine. I don't normally do a glossy lip, but I really felt it today. And then, of course, finishing with my NYX Fixing Spray. And that is my look. I was really excited about this palette because there's so many looks that you can create with this. I mean, you have all your warm tones, which you can easily make any eye look out of. And then you have all the colours in the other two rows to put some lid colours or lower lash line colours to add a pop of colour. There is so many looks that you can create with this. And this shade Cosmo, the one that I've been having a bit of issue with, is a true glitter. It is just glitter. And I think that's why it keeps falling out and crumbling. From the colours that I've used, I really think this palette is so beautiful. The pigmentation is incredible. They, they also blend out so nicely and really smooth and they keep the colour there. And the metallic on the centre of the lid came out perfect. It came out so metallic and foil. I have had a few issues with Cosmic. This like when it arrived it had a little bit already out like a bit had broken off and three times now in two days it has completely broke off and when I've opened the palette up it's been in this bit so I had to keep putting it in there and pressing it down all the other shades are amazing they swatch so well and hopefully in time as I use all of them in makeup looks I'll be able to tell you the payoff of each one. I do think it is an absolutely beautiful palette and I'm really happy with the eye look that I created today. I've gone with like reds and oranges to create this look. I don't know if you can see. And I think it's turned out really pretty. This is definitely gonna be my go-to autumn eye look with this palette. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos with the Huda Desert Dust palette, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and click down below to subscribe to see more future videos from me. I hope you enjoyed watching.